The authorities in Egypt have continued their crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood, detaining another 38 people after the latest bomb blast. Five people were injured, one seriously, after an explosion smashed the windows of a bus in Cairo. The attack happened the day after the government branded the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization, blaming it for an earlier suicide bombing on a police headquarters. <laughs> This Cairo resident said they did this to stop us from voting in next month's referendum. We won't be frightened. We'll definitely take part. We'll also take to the streets and ride buses. They can't intimidate us like this. The authorities said other devices were found near the site of the Cairo blast and diffused. Almost half of Thursday's arrests took place in the Nile Delta, the region where Tuesday's suicide bombing took place. The further crackdown comes even though the Brotherhood condemned the attack and denied carrying it out. At a briefing given by its supporters, this activist said the accusation that the Muslim Brotherhood are terrorists hasn't been confirmed. The decision was taken in a hurry and the prosecution hasn't ruled on it. Meanwhile, the explosions the government accused the Brotherhood of carrying out were perpetrated by other groups. From now on, anyone taking part in Muslim Brotherhood protests like this could be jailed for five years. Further support could bring life. Its leaders face possible death sentences.